Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would like to go back to our very old topic and talk a little bit about backgrounds because one of the most common questions I've been receiving what I can do to make my headshots look a little bit different, a little bit unique, and I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on some expensive backgrounds. So this idea actually came to me about a couple months ago and I started doing some tests and exploring this whole thing. And I have to tell you, I'm really amazed with the results. So recently I've been really trying to get into as many different fabric stores, which sells different types of fabrics. And you can use those fabrics with different patterns, with different colors for your backgrounds. The cool thing about it is you don't really have to spend tons of tons of money because some of those fabrics, they're on sale and you can buy them for really cheap. And also because of the size of the background that we need, it's not big. You don't have to buy big piece of this fabric. So in our case, we need about 1.5 to about two meters of fabric to get really good size of background. And that's going to be good enough especially if we're shooting about 150 to 200 mil this whole background becomes compressed and as I said we really don't need big piece and also what I found which is really interesting you don't have to spend tons of money because for the fabric I purchased I paid about ten dollars a piece which comparing to those 500 to about thousand dollars backgrounds it's pretty much good deal not to mention you can purchase a lot of them and you can have variety of different options for your clients on the top of that and also what I found extremely convenient those fabrics you can pretty much just fold them up you can put them in your back and you're good to go so in this case for example this entire background which I want to show you today which I've used recently for my headshot sessions you can fold it like this and it doesn't take much space in your bag you can pretty much take it anywhere and and also you don't have to have like a specific and an expensive stance for the background. You can literally use duct tape to put it on the wall and you're good to go. So I've done a couple photo shoots and the cool thing about this type of fabric because this already has a color. So in this case it's blue. I really like blue color. You guys probably know that I'm really fascinated with the blue tonality of my images. So that's why I pick this one and it works great. Uh, you just need a little bit of touch of light to basically eliminate eliminate this background and you're good to go and you can use that for your headshot session and I think this entire concept can give you a variety of different options I think that the, the most difficult part is is just going to the store and picking the right fabric so there's a couple of things what I want to mention choose the fabrics which have some interesting colors and there's probably tons of them which you can basically just see what type of color you like the next thing is look for the patterns if there is some interesting patterns if the background have some kind of pattern which creates this interesting contrast that's also is going to help you to create this very unique and very specific type of background for your headshots and that's going to give you something very unique very different something what's going to pretty much just stand out from the crowd on the top of it you probably have to do some retouching afterwards to just give this background specific tonality but that's i'm going to leave that for another video but today i just want to share that whole thing with you especially for those ones who are looking to create something different something unique something what's gonna help you to create this specific style of your headshots and i'm sure any place where you live there is some fabric stores which probably have tons of tons of different options so you can just check it out and see what is available and what you can get also they sell those scraps which i found recently and they will sell you for like literally peanuts some amazing pieces because there is let's say two meters left and they cannot really sell it so they will give this whole thing out and you can definitely use that for your background maybe you can get a bunch of different ones stick them on the wall and create some kind of collage of different fabrics and that also is gonna make this background more interesting so i think this entire concept can give you some interesting ideas and you can play with it you can make this whole thing interesting 
and just have fun. Um, I think the best thing what you can do is just playing with different types of materials and different fabrics, different colors, different patterns. And that's going to give you some very, very different and unique style. And also what I want to mention is not expensive. I know this is one of the biggest challenge nowadays for so many photographers because there is so many things we can purchase. And typically those backgrounds that are extremely expensive, but you can go completely different direction. You can just go on your own, pick the stuff which you like, put this whole thing together for literally nothing. Because when I start looking at some of those prices, there is nothing where you can beat that. Because if I pay $10 for something like this, you cannot really find any background anywhere for that type of price. And if it's not going to work, you know, you're not going to be upset or you're not going to, you know, think, hey, I waste $500 or something, which I use only a few times and I don't like it anymore. You can play with different ones. You can create your own portfolio. You can see what works, what doesn't work, and then just create this own specific style for your headshots and this specific background. I hope that was interesting. I'm going to show you some images from those shoots, which I've done with this particular fabric. Let me know what you guys think. I will also add some information about this lighting setup, what I've done. So you guys know exactly how this whole thing looked. So I hope you're going to like these images. Let me know what you guys think. If this is a cool idea or this is something which is not going to work for you. But I just want to give it this to you because I think it's interesting. It's inexpensive and it's something that really can create something very, very unique for your headshot style. So I would love to hear your comments. I would love to hear uh, your feedback. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I would love to also see your images. So if you're going to go to some fabric store and you're going to pick some interesting patterns, different colors, shoot me an email, send me those shots. I would love to see it. And I would be more than happy to give you some feedback, but I'm sure you're going to do an amazing job. So let's stay in touch and I'll chat with you guys very soon. Bye-bye.